Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to talk to you about installing a rear bagger system on a Craftsman YT3000 lawn tractor. I was able to find out the year by looking at the serial number. If you look right here, you've got the first six digits is 050911. That was the date it was manufactured, May 9th. 2011. So that's how you can tell what year your lawn tractor is. When I bought my rear bagger system, I uh, read a bunch of reviews and made sure, and they said, yes, anything 2010 and newer. So I'll show you this real quick. This is what I purchased. It says it fits Troy built MTD, yard man, yard machines, uh, Husky and Bolins. Uh, on the website it also said it fit craftsman so that's what i have that's what i'm fitting it for it fits the 42 inch or the 46 inch deck the problem is for whatever reason the mounting brackets weren't working properly it comes with let me see you can see these guys right here this is supposed to mount right to the back of your tractor just like yay and then the big mounting bracket clips right onto this and then you stick this uh, pin and clevis through. No holes on the back of my tractor lined up. Um, there's a bunch of holes back there, but none of them match this, nowhere. I couldn't get it to work at all. So what I had to do is drill some new holes and I have a tap and die set. So if you don't have a tap and die set, that's fine. Um, it came with 5 16th diameter bolt and you can just drill out the hole 5 16th if you have a drill and a drill bit uh, it's best to step up your drill bits you start small if you're drilling through metal and then you work your way up uh, to your bigger hole to the the final size there's plenty of room uh, behind this metal plate right here that if you don't have a tap and die set, you can just stick the bolt all the way through and put a nut on the back side. You can get your hand back up in there pretty well. Um, so that's a, a possibility for you. I made sure to drill to a, a bolt has an inside and an outside diameter. The inside diameter would be without the threads. The outside diameter would be with the threads. If you are using a tap and die set, make sure you're only drilling the hole to the inside diameter so that you can use your tap to drill out the threads to the proper size. Again, the bolt was a 5 16 inch bolt, so I drilled it out to quarter inch and then tapped it with the 5 16 inch tap. So I have my new bolt holes, one, two, and you'd think, yeah, you can tell that those aren't the right distance apart. Uh, plus it had to be a, a wider stance. So I had to put those two, you can see the new metal, and those two right there. That will allow me to mount this guy right on there. And then the bracket that it comes with. I put this together already. This is really simple to put together. Um, it kind of snaps together like Legos almost. And then you just put these little uh, wing nut knobs on there with some carriage, carriage bolts. And the best way to find out where to drill holes for these, what I did was it comes with this pin, the set does, and one of these holes on the bottom lines up with the hole in your tractor, just like yay. I stuck that pin through there, and then I held, you can see where these hooks are over here. Let me get the right side. And then I went ahead and... Uh, hooked that on there, stuck that bottom pin through that bottom hole there, and I held it in place and marked it with a pencil uh, on both sides. That told me where to, to drill my holes. So that's what you're going to want to do, and I will get the rest of this put together and show you along the way. Now this is not really thick steel right here, probably eighth inch. I don't want to reef on these too hard because I feel like I'll just strip those out. It wasn't very tough metal to drill through. I might end up coming back 
and putting a nut on the back side of these bolts anyhow uh, just for extra rigidity because the bagger is going to be back here and going over our bumpy lawn it's just going to be bouncing bouncing so over time these might loosen up and or uh, and or strip out so I might end up putting nuts on those anyways all right so this goes on just like yay perfect all my holes line up I can stick the pin in there There we go. Tighten these up. They said in the instructions to keep these wing nuts loose a little bit until you got it all mounted. Then you could go ahead and tighten it up in case it had to wiggle on a little bit. So nice and stout on there. I like it. The next step is to put this device on. You can see it's got these hooks right here. It hooks right into there. And I don't know if you can see this. It says A, B, and C. Now I'm gonna line this bottom hole, the center hole up with one of these. According to the instructions, you put it on A for a 38 inch deck, B for a 42 inch deck, and C for a 46 inch deck. I have the 46 inch deck, so I'm gonna line it up with C. They said to stick the carriage bolt in and put the uh, wing nut on the back side. All right, the next step is to install the bagger support. And that literally just slaps right on top of there. There's three holes, but it says to put two carriage bolts in uh, with the two cupped washers and the two lock nuts. All right, next we attach this corner uh, chute thing to the rail the bagger rail, and it says to snap it in. So, that's easy enough, you'll figure it out. Next, we'll put this, uh, this other corner piece on, snap it on this side. There's a little clip right here, it overlaps, and then the clip falls into this hole, and then this part, snaps on that's it oh i missed the second clip there's a tiny little clip up top and a tiny little clip at the bottom all right the next step is the top cover and there's a rubber uh weather stripping there or seal kind of getting in the way you just got to lift it out and then it comes with this rod and you slide it in you have to line up all the hinges one end of the rod has a bevel on it so that it will go into the hinges easier. Um, so yeah, make sure you find the bevel on the end of the rod and lead it in with that. There we go. Then we can get our bags, set those in there. I believe these instructions are pretty much worthless. I mean, there's a few pictures on here it's not great. All right, now for the bags. Slide them in, set them down. Slide them in, set them down. Forwards or backwards, front, back, doesn't matter. All right, just like that. Now I'm gonna drive this thing down my ramp out of the shop uh, so that I can put the tube assembly on the shoot all right guys i got it all together i hope you're watching till this part of the video because this this is important everything else went together really easy it was uh a piece of cake to put together i got all the way to this plastic shoot and this plastic shoot does not fit my mower according to all the reviews and the questions and answers in the amazon portion of uh, this product, it should have worked. I read multiple questions where people said, hey, I have a like a 2011, 2012 Craftsman YT3000, will this work? Yes, I have the same mower, it works. So I thought I did my research extensively enough and I didn't. Um, I'll show you, I'll give you a closer look here. 
So where the chute goes onto the mower deck, um, you can see my, it's tin. That's just a piece of tin from an old uh, Coleman white fuel gas, I guess, I had laying around. Um, so this part of the, the black plastic is, that's right where the hole starts on my mower deck. This is covering it by like maybe a finger width. Um, and then come all the way over here. This is where this chute ends right there. That's where the hole on my mower deck ends. So it's quite a bit smaller. I mean, a good, a good four inches plus the height. The hole on my mower deck is all the way up to here. And this black plastic is so much lower. So, I mean, it looks ridiculous, obviously, but I just had to make it work. Uh, right there, I've got wire, wiring it down to there. This metal rod is supposed to be flipped around and it's supposed to go into that hole uh, right there on that wheel frame. Obviously that wasn't gonna work, it's miles away. And there was no other holes that lined up or anything. So I've got, I've got reinforced plastic and wire wired to other parts, um, wired down there. Another piece of wire underneath to keep it from popping up. So the reason I did this, if you guys have watched our videos, you know that it's not easy for me to do an Amazon return because of where we live. Um, this box, that, the box that this came in weighs 53 pounds. We had to get that on a bush plane, fly it out here. And uh, so I would have to box it all back up, put it back on a bush plane, which is not cheap, and get it back. So Zach and I had a discussion. We said, let's try to make this one work. We will research possibly buying another chute that works for our mower in the future, but let's see if we can get this one to work. So I just uh, channeled my inner MacGyver and, uh, and ramshackled whatever I could to seal that hole off so that we could mow the lawn. And it works. I will say it works really well. Um, I, I mowed about half of our lawn, a little over half, and I've emptied those two bags at least five times. So it really picks up the grass really well. Uh, but I will say that this product from Amazon did not fit my tractor well. Like I said, I had to modify the back just so the mounting bracket would fit. And I had to crazy modify the chute so that it would fit. Um, I wouldn't recommend you doing that if you have the Craftsman YT3000. Like I said, this is a 2011 model, but it works. At this point, it's functional. I had to make it work out here. We got it going and um, we'll leave it this way until we figure something else out. The biggest problem is going to be when I want to remove the deck to do any maintenance, uh, sharpen the blades or something like that. Removing this thing from my ramshackleness is going to be very difficult. So that's gonna be the biggest problem. But at this point, it's all hooked up. I'm gonna leave it hooked up for the summer and we'll mow like this um, until I have a problem or until I need to do maintenance. So I hope this video helped you guys. Make sure to take notes of these things if you're trying to purchase this specific product. And um, I hope I gave you all the information that you need to know so you don't make the same mistake that I did. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer those questions. And we'll see you guys in the next video. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>